Hey guys, what is going on? It is Ace Hawkey, or Hawkey, whatever really works for you. And today, I've got some super cool gameplay on Overflow with a UAV, VSAT, and the Escort drone. So today, what I want to talk to you guys about is the differences in pricings with Australians to compared to Americans and Europe, and the basically what happens with special editions in Call of Duty Ghosts. So let's just talk about the gameplay for just a little bit. Now, I think this gameplay was pretty impressive because I wasn't using any lethal or tactical equipment, which is really important because I wasn't C4ing this area before I actually walked in there. Luckily enough, I managed to get the spray for the nice double, but an EMP or a flashbang would have been much appreciated to have in this gameplay, but I did alright without them. Anyway, getting back to the main topic of this video, Americans and Europeans game for a little bit cheaper than Australians. So in America, you m I'm not sure how it works with the Europeans and pounds and stuff, I'm not too sure about that, but in America, yeah that's right guys, America! In America, you game for about $60 when a game comes out. When it gets released, you'll pay $60 to get that game normally. If you get a hardened edition, prestige edition, whatever special like edition you get for the pre-order, you might pay a little bit more. But just for the game, it's $60. However, the problem is, in Australia, you might be paying about $80, $90 cheapest option. Now, by this I mean, when you shop around or something, maybe you go to a couple of different retailers, you might find that one of them has it for 100 um, one of them might have it for 110 the other one have, might have it for 90 So if you do some research, maybe shop around to a couple of different places, you don't have to like, actually rush in there. You can take your time, and you can get it for a couple of dollars, uh, for about $10, $20 cheaper. Now, you guys can do this. All you have to do is just... Take some patience, shop around, maybe do a bit of research, and you can end up uh, with a bit much better deal. Now, I'm not hating on Europeans or Americans. I love you guys. You guys, uh, Europeans have the most amazing accents, and Americans get to say, For America! Yeah! Not only that, but you guys also get to game for a lot cheaper, which is awesome. I love that. I wish I was living in America or Europe so I could pay $60 or however many pounds that is in, in European. I don't really know, but however much that is, I would love to pay that amount instead of uh, $80, $90. But here's where the news starts to get from alright and bearable to really bad. This is because with the new next-gen consoles, you're going to have to pay for Call of Duty Ghosts twice if you want to get that it that early, because Call of Duty Ghosts comes out before the next-gen consoles, which is okay. But here's the problem. When Call of Duty Ghost is released, you might have to pay for it twice, on the 360 or PS3 version, and then later on, the Xbox One or PS4 version. And if you guys want to take that next-gen step up to get to the new consoles, that is not going to be working out for you, because then you'll have to pay for the next-gen console and another game entirely on the next-gen console for Australians, which will be about $100 easy, because it's a new console, uh, and it's going to cost a bit more. That's why it's a serious bummer for Australians. Now, European and American developers, that's why I love European and American people now. I seriously do. Their retailers have come to the senses, and they've said that they are going to allow you guys to buy the current gen console versions, and then you, that you're going to get a basically a special code for, for the PS3 people, or basically like a voucher for the Xbox people. And what they're going to do is you pay like $10 more when the Xbox One or PS4 version comes out, and then you get the Xbox One or PS4 version of Call of Duty Ghosts. It's as simple as that. You pay $10 more, and you get the, the next gen step up. For the, in terms of the game. Now, from what I've heard so far, this deal isn't available for Australians. I may be wrong in this, but from my part of Australia, which is Queensland, I haven't heard anything about that deal being present. I haven't seen it on any web pages that are of Australian retails, and I haven't seen them on anything to do like with the, with the next-gen consoles, and I haven't definitely heard from I've actually called up the retailers, and they haven't heard anything about this $10 step up in Australia. So they haven't heard much of it from their higher-ups. So that leads me to assume that this deal isn't available for us Australians. But guys, I have a solution for you guys. Well, it's kind of a solution. But what you guys should do, or think about doing for us Australians, is buying the game on the current-gen console version. And if you're upgrading, if you're definitely upgrading to the next-gen console version, then what you should do is buy the current-gen version. Then most retailers have, like, a return-by date. And, like, for the full price, you can get that full price back. And then you can have some experience with the game, and then get the next-gen version about a couple of weeks later on when it comes out. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, don't be afraid to hit that like button. And if you didn't, then still hit that like button, but then tell me why you didn't like it in the comment section below. A like, favorite, comment, and or subscription is much appreciated, and I'll catch you guys all on the next episode. Hawkey out.